that's just the way it fucking is. So today I am going to do a bunch of bundles and get a bunch of work done because I'm that bitch. I, since you guys love to see, well, on my previous videos, you guys have told me that you want to see more of the creative process. So I'm going to prop up my phone and record while I pull together bundles. Yeah, it's going to be the end of the eyegirl bundle. I know I said that a while back, but I'm actually like, they're down now and I'm finishing my last chunk and I feel like I'm just at like the final sprint because every single day is so long. Like... 16 hour days and then I still feel I never feel complete at the end of the day because I still have to wake up and do so many more and I just really want to give people the best product they possibly like possible and I've been including two look options in all the bundles now so it takes a little bit longer but I know people are stoked on that and maybe one day they'll be back the first bundle here Trying to figure out the best place to prop up my phone, but I feel like here is pretty good. And then all like show pieces and whatever. Need a fucking iced coffee. I'm thinking of doing more like story time videos on my channel about like certain experiences or like time periods in my life that could help people. I don't know, coming into themselves. Like not that I've totally come into myself, but I feel like I definitely know myself more than I did a few years ago so yeah if there's any specific stories you want to hear on my channel i definitely want to do more story time so like just tell me in the comments what you want to hear about literally whatever because i'm open to talking about anything like i recorded this video of why xanax is fucked up and why people really should not use it as a recreational drug it's like a really intense video and i've been like debating posting it but yeah let me know if that's something you'd be interested in got the ice with the oat by the way i hope that you can use my videos as a guideline to start your own styled bundle like i'm stopping the styled bundle but please carry it on and continue doing it this person lives in pittsburgh and they want Y2K pastel glam with punk goth pops to contrast. Kind of like the mean girls meets mall goth. Haha, <laughs> I don't know. I love glitter and fuzzy and just in general textured things. And of course I would love some of your eye girl flair. I'm not comfortable in anything cropped or anything that can't cover bra slash sports bra straps because I cannot wear strapless to save my life. For shoes, I'm just not very comfortable in heels. Also, I do prefer mini backpacks over purses if you decide to include a bag. Thank you so much for your time again. Kind of confused how she wants mean girls, but she doesn't want like crop tops or anything. There's lots of like brats, princess stuff, Powerpuff girls, like 90s nostalgia, Y2K nostalgia. Okay. Okie doke. Let's see what we got. These pink shorts would have been perfect, but they aren't too good. Okay, we got some bottoms options. This skirt is like super mean girlsy, like that mall era. And then these shorts, I'm pretty sure I showed them in another one of my videos. They got that ribbon trim there. Kind of gives that like pastel vibe she requested. And then I have these pink pants that could be cute too. I just feel like if she doesn't like wearing like tube tops or anything that shows a bra strap, if she won't like a mini skirt, but she didn't say anything about that. This is so cute. And it kind of gives me like the mall goth accent she asked for because it has the fishnet sleeves. It says happiness there. And it kind of gives that pastel vibe too. I have this Powerpuff Girls baby tee that would be perfect with the denim shirt option. I feel like it's very much her vibe. The blue from the ribbon like matches that perfectly. Ooh, I have an idea for the glam factor. I have this rhinestone choker. Oh my God, it's like the same aqua. Try this out. Yeah, this rhinestone choker matches perfectly and it adds the glam aspect. Okay, okay, what's next? 
Hmm. So I have this hoodie that I feel like she'll really love, but I'm trying to figure out the right bottoms to go with it. Yeah, this angel sweater, it has like little rhinestones there that say angel and it gives the pastel like accent she requested. I honestly feel like even though she said glam, I think she just meant like glam aspects and she probably like a blue denim would just like look really good, like a mom jean. Let me look at her legs. Let me see what kind of accessories are in her legs so I can see what she likes to wear. She likes bags a lot. I think I have a little bag. Honestly, this is super cute, this little bag. And it's like, has these little frill detail and it's baby blue. And then it has this little anime chick and it says LA on her hat. What eye girl stuff. I think she'll like the sleepy nameplate. Okay, I got some glittery silver butterfly clips. But I'm gonna toss it in there. Since she said mall goth, I'm gonna include the coffin stuff as well, like the coffin studs and the coffin pendant, so that she can layer it up and have that like mall goth accessory vibe. I wanna see what she's bought on Depop before. So I don't include anything she's bought before. I think she'll be really stoked to get this Powerpuff Girl merch tee because She's like a diehard PPG girl. Okie doke, here is her pastel Y2K glam with mall goth accents. And she said Mean Girls as well. So um, I did this look here, which is like a pastel blue look with these super cute denim shorts. I threw in that dead stock alien keychain because there's so much nostalgia in her legs. So I feel like she'll like it. I added a black grandma belt, even though a white would have looked good, just to make it like a little bit more of a dark vibe. And then this Powerpuff Girls baby tee, the sleepy nameplate, the heaven ball chain, that rhinestone choker to make it more Y2K glam, these tiny little blue smiley earrings, those clips, and I also tossed in the coffin stud so she could choose. She could also mix and match the accessories with this look. So yeah, here is this other option. Yes. Next bundle. I'm DJing this Chinatown market event on Friday. I literally just did my first DJ set at the last heaven party that Lulo runs. And I screwed up a little bit, but it was my first time. So I'm gonna be DJing at this event and I really hope I don't fuck up, fingers crossed. So it's so cute. We gave her these amazing jean -cos. They're like the old school jean -cos, and they have some patches on the back. So cute and the huge pockets. And then we gave her this baby tee that me and Ruby have been holding on to for like ever. And she has like a very small bust, so it'll fit her perfectly. And then she's getting the new collection. We gave her the coffin and the studs and the sleepier over there. And then this necklace to layer up. And then these glasses matched the green in the top. And I kind of just liked it all together. Threw in the snakeskin pants that she could pair with any black tee in her wardrobe. And then we gave her these amazing pants. You can't really tell, but they're like iridescent. And they're by LEI in the 90s. The silver grommet and this really cool like bike pant chain. This Guess Thermal that I just bought for myself. It has like really long sleeves and she's like emo girl. So I feel like she'll feel like super cute in it. The sleepy and the coffin. This bundle, she said, I really love 90s grunge, but my everyday is more 70s. So to be safe, I want the look to be more 70s, but I absolutely love the 90s and I would be open to a good grunge look as long as it's true to 90s. I love high waist bell bottoms and button ups. It's my go-to. I like snake skin and fur. Satin also is very nice. I think long slip dresses are lovely. I also like layering. I love layering a few flannels on a good band shirt or something. Also love a good vest or denim jacket. I'm very indecisive and these people are so different from my style icons are Jimi Hendrix, Cher, Jimmy Page, 
Kurt Cobain, Hope Sandoval. I was also thinking a catsuit slash jumpsuit kind of thing that's tight in all the right places. I'm so sorry, I don't know exactly what I want, but I do know I want something totally groovy. Okay, so we did her bundle and I feel like we got it like to a T, so I'll show you it now. I'm actually obsessed with this bundle. So she said she loves snakeskin and flares, so we included the Revolt pants with that yellow halter top. And then she said she loves denim jackets, so we gave her this 90s denim jacket that she could pair with the black grommet belt. She told us she loves the sleepy, so we gave her the sleepy nameplate. We gave her those hair clips up there that match perfectly to the green on this amazing coat. It was giving me like the perfect combo of like 70s and 90s, and she said she loves faux fur. Well, she said fur, but like, this has the faux fur lining. There was lots of trench coats in her likes, so I feel like she'll totally be into it. We had this amazing crochet dress that was giving me the vibe 100%, and then we gave her this beaded purse that I just bought for myself. So I like the example you gave for the girly grunge outfit, but maybe a more androgynous version would be cool. Generally, I like different textures. I love layering. I love interesting jackets slash layering pieces. I'm always wearing one, especially vintage slash grunge. And I love lots of weird accessories all over the outfit. It's more the merrier with me, lol. Generally, I like a more funky 90s grunge with a twist style. My only request is if you could have some sort of layer piece, avoid super bright colors, and have pants for the bottoms. Also, I have a weird thing about the fabric of clothing. I love comfort, so anything scratchy, I can't do, lol. Also, I already have the sheet all pendant. And she's so nice. She was like, take your time. You don't have to do it in the date range, blah, blah, blah. Very sweet, thank you. Well, maybe we have a cool coat mm -hmm. for her. We got this like blue leather coat here, maybe we can use. That's a cool vibe. It's what? Grungy. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of this coat that Buffy wore in season two. I remember it. Okay. I think I know exactly which one you're talking right? about. Right? Yeah. It's like the same like structure. Yeah, literally like the same. What's this new? She needs Kay. pants on the bottom. Yeah, she needs pants. Maybe like a black jean. Mm -hmm. We're really like little detectives. <laughs> Trying to see if this black dress up. Like I wonder if she want if it's more androgynous to do an XL because she has a forty bust. Yeah. So it's not like tight. Yeah. So it's like a bit looser. Yeah, I kind of like that. Do you think she'd like the top and stuff? I think so. Yeah. And she said the more accessories, the better. So we could do a pant chain. Is that over here? I guess not. Okay, grab the stud. This is a definitely cool person. Would wear this outfit. It's cute. Maybe we can add it in a chain necklace. Like maybe the spiked ball chain one. Mm -hmm. We got this like spike ball chain necklace here. This top is so good, but we haven't even like tried to use it yet. I tried to use it this morning. And yeah. I almost used it. I like buttoned it up very nice. Like I think it looks really cool with the jeans and the jacket. Doesn't it look cool? Like, yeah, it's right? really cool. That's like cool girl vibes. Okay. Okay, we just finished this bundle. Okay. So we gave her two options, of course. So we did a short option because we saw she lives in Texas and it's definitely gonna be getting hot there soon. So we gave her this that she could pair with the black grommet. Honestly, all the pieces are very interchangeable so she could do her thing when she gets it. But this blouse is amazing. It's by No Boundaries back in the day. And then we gave her the Pisces choker. And then she said she likes funky jackets and androgynous. So we thought this was like an androgynous like fit. We popped that in the look with the eye girl baby tee. We gave her three necklaces she could stack up together with the coffin studs as well. Cause she said the more accessories, the merrier. And then there was lots of black grommet belts in her likes and we checked her page and she wasn't styling with a black grommet belt. So I don't think she owns one chain that she could also wrap around twice to wear as a necklace but it's great around the belt loops and then these vintage mom jeans wow it has been a long day 
I just finished editing the whole vid and then I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna go film an outro. So I like doing these little outros and talking about the vid. So I'm gonna upload that now and then I'm gonna eat some dinner because all I've eaten today is a bagel and I'm like, damn, I need some real food. And yeah, I definitely wanna do vlogs more. I'm gonna have so much more time now that the iGo bundle is coming to an end. So I just wanted to let you know that there's gonna be so many more vids coming soon. I like miss YouTube. I was just thinking about it. I was like, damn, when I was in Winnipeg, I was like YouTube queen. I was making so many vids, but here I haven't had time. And my previous assistant in Canada would edit my videos cause she like knew what I wanted in it and everything. So that was also a plus. But yeah, now I'm gonna have more time on my hands to do that. And so much love. I love you.